what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is going to be my screen five who lives who is going to die prediction video that i know several people have messaged me about i've seen the comments telling me to do something like this so i finally want to get to the get around to doing a video such as this i tried to record it yesterday but i'm here doing it now so hopefully you guys enjoy it and i guess i'll just throw in a spoiler spoiler warning if you don't want any potential spoilers even though i have no idea who's going to die and who's going to live uh turn the video off i don't know anything about who's going to live and who's going to die but if you don't want any potential spoilers just click off on just click off from this video right now i'm going to jump right on into things because we have a whole batch of new characters that are going to be joining gail sydney and dewey with this latest killing spree in woodsboro uh we have a few returning cast members who we know are going to be factoring into the narrative this time around and we have a spe a specific character who we haven't seen who's going to be making an appearance. We haven't seen this character since Scream 3, so I want to start things off with her. A character played by Heather Matarazzo. Everyone knows her as Martha Meeks, the sister of Randy, who we first met back in Scream 3. When she showed us this video Randy made back at Windsor College, just in case there was a third killing spree, and he wanted to tell us the rules of the concluding chapter in the trilogy. I don't see her really serving any purpose here in this film other than to introduce us to her kids and be a little nostalgia factor uh for for the randy character and that's really all i see her being i think she's gonna die like halfway through the movie then we have her kids uh mindy and chad starting off with jasmine savoy brown's character mindy mindy looks like she's gonna be one of those sleuthy characters we know she's gonna be a student at Woodsboro high she's probably gonna get too close to the truth and her digging around and being the being the nerdy type of character trying to figure out what's going on that's gonna end up getting her killed uh, I could see them using her or Chad to kind of like give a reference to Randy since these are Randy's nieces and nephew. And then we have Mason Gooding who plays Chad Meeks Martin, uh, the nephew of Randy Meeks, daughter of Martha. I've seen people speculate that he could be the killer. I don't think he's going to be the killer. If he is the killer, that'll surprise me. I don't think he's going to be the killer. I think that he, right along with his sister, they're going to bite the dust. Ghostface is going to catch them slipping. They won't be joining us for Scream 6 what's going to happen with this guy he's going to be like the jock character he's he's probably going to get too cocky try to confront ghostface and he's going to get killed and then we have kyle gowner who we don't even really know his last name i think his character name is vince i've seen people speculate that this is the son of billy loomis he has some type of connection to billy loomis or maybe he's related to Stu. uh i think this is i think this guy is going to be the one that surprises people because i think everyone is going to be so focused on him being the killer when he dies that's going to throw people off i th i don't think he's the killer i don't see him lasting it i don't see him lasting through half the movie i think he's going to die early on in fact he's going to die very early on in this movie and then we have sonia amar who i believe is playing sonia ben amar who i believe is playing Liv mckenzie relative of the mckenzie's that were referenced in the first film when casey was getting killed this girl here um uh, I don't really know what to say about her. I, I think she's going to die. I I believe what ultimately will happen is she'll end up dying at the at the inevitable party in this film. I don't see her making it out alive. I do think she's going to be one of the killers, but I think she's going to end up dying. She's not going to make it out alive. Then we have this guy here, <laughs> Dylan Minnette, who's going to be playing Wes Hicks, son of Judy Hicks. Um, and again, I've already given my spoiler warning. We unfortunately got apparent rumors. Don't know how true it is. We'll find out i don't see him making it out he's probably gonna end up dying in some capacity i know a lot of us are set in on this crazy clay theory because he's very crazy on 13 reasons why i don't see him making it out alive i think he's gonna die and then we have uh amber freeman or no that's her character name mikey madison is playing amber freeman in the film mikey madison um this is gonna be my second ghost face option i think she's gonna be one of the second ghost face killers involved in this project and i don't see her making it out alive i know she's going to be playing jenna ortega's girlfriend in the film she's probably going to end up getting killed just for her obsession over tara carpenter in the film that's probably what's going to end up getting her killed her overprotection of tara then we have marley shelton returning as judy hicks deputy judy hicks she's probably going to end up being the sheriff because i don't think dewey's going to be sheriff i think this chick here i already have my theory of i would like to see her be the killer have some type of connection to Stu. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you want to listen to that. Uh, but I'm losing hope. I think Judy's going to end up dying with her son. I think she's going to die. Don't think she's going to make it out alive. And then, unfortunately, yes, Dewey Riley. 
David Arquette and his character Dewey Riley love him to death. I think this is going to be the character that brings Sydney back to Rosewood. Or not Rosewood. I've been watching too much Pretty Little Liars. To, to Woodsboro. I think Dewey's death is going to cause Sydney to get involved. I don't see Sydney getting involved for any other reason outside of Dewey's death. So those are my picks on who I think are going to be getting killed off by Ghostface. Now notice I left out one other cast member who is relatively new not relatively new he's one of the newer cast members you're familiar with seeing him on the boys if you watch that tv series on amazon uh, i left him out for a reason but i'm going to get into some people who i think are going to survive we have melissa barrera who plays sam carpenter in the film she's probably going to be the young woman that returns to her hometown to investigate those series of vicious crimes that has been described in the synopsis that we got very early on last year she's probably going to end up returning after her younger sister tara carpenter is assaulted at the beginning or somewhere in the film she's gonna end up making it out alive because the whole film seems like it's gonna be revolving around the carpenter drama because we don't know why sam left town earlier uh apparently that's gonna be part of the film then we have jenna ortega who's gonna be playing tara carpenter the younger sister of melissa barrera's character sam carpenter she feels like she's gonna be the new sydney type character honestly her and sam feel like they're going to be sharing the role of fulfilling that sydney role in this in this film they're both going to make it out alive sydney's probably going to be like a mentor to them in a way and then we have jack quaid who plays richie kirsch who is the boyfriend of sam carpenter who is probably going to be traveling to woodsboro with her from whatever town they're staying in after after things go wild in woodsboro i think he's gonna end up being Stu's brother and he's gonna be the third killer but he'll ultimately get away with it somehow i think he's gonna make it out alive i think he'll make it out alive and get away with it and then of course nev campbell sydney prescott i don't really even need to go into reasons as to why she's not going to die if she were to die hopefully it's in a blaze of glory as i'm expecting it to be with dewey because i think he's gonna die i think he, he's done but nev campbell she's not going anywhere i think this will be the last time we see sydney for a while until they do a final film maybe we don't see her ever again after this though because sydney as a character she's not going anywhere and then gail weathers played by courtney cox she's not going anywhere either i think dewey's death is going to be used to bring the both of them together make them more stronger and just make that friendship more unique let me know what you guys think about my prediction down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video